Hey guys, uh, it's Sean. A lot of you guys online know me as Luther Hus. I thought I'd just do a couple of videos. Um, I've got a big project back that I'm working on for Rob C. Um, he said he really didn't mind if I uh, kind of showed people the back and walked them through what I was doing. So I thought it'd be neat to see uh, to see the back and see some of the mods as they come along because there's a big laundry list of uh, things that's going on in the back. Um, everything from a Leo Vince to a J Costa to um, HIDs to uh, Magic Blinkers to <laughs> you name it. So um, I'm basically uh, just starting. I've only spent about a day uh, just here or there, not like a full day, um, just tinkering on it. I took off the front end and I'm about to take off the back end. And um, pretty much what I'm doing now is I'm removing the back rear panels and the center panel um, so that the only you know Tupperware left on the back will be the uh, knee guard and uh, the dash. The reason I'm doing that is because one of the best things you can do if you're planning on doing a lot of electrical work later even if you're not doing it now is to run a feeder line from your battery compartment um, up to the front to a fuse block. Um, let me show you what I mean on the back. So here's the back. So you can see, like I said, I've still got the rear Tupperware on and stripped out the front. Um, this is mainly because I'm going to be putting in a fuse block in this area. I'm going to be putting in the bracket for the JV windshield which runs from these two bolts. Um, so that'll go there and just having all that out of the way really makes it a lot easier but what I'll do now is take off this piece and the other piece so that I can remove this center piece which is a pain in the butt um, if you don't remove the knee, the knee guard. You can remove the knee guard <coughs> but at that point um, you're probably you know trading uh, one evil for another because the knee guard, I'll show you here, if I can, I can just kind of point to it. There's like a, a million little screws, like, back up in the uh, in the knee guard. And you also have to remove the dash. So, to remove the dash, you have to remove the handlebar cap. You don't have to take off the handlebars, but you have to take off the cap and this cover. So, by the time you do all that, <coughs> if you can... Sometimes you can, sometimes you can. It really just depends <laughs> on what kind of day you're having. You can take, uh, once you get these off, this center piece with the uh, the gas cap off and the door up will actually kind of pop and pry out from under the knee guard. The reason I'm doing all that is because I want to run a feeder line, electrical line, 10 gauge wire, um, marine wire, just, you know, for a little bit of uh, like quality from here through along the side of the line of the uh, the side of the gas and actually between the little flap that's the inside of the rear wheel rear uh, uh, tire well and the knee guard and up to right here and that'll feed the fuse block now you can do it without doing all this um, and it's a little bit you know tricky um, of course, you wouldn't have to remove all the things, but with this being such a new bike and and also like in such good condition, um, I'm not going to do it like I did mine. I with mine, I actually just took a clothes hanger, and you can do this too, and fed it through here up there, and it really, you know, it's like the lottery. You might feed it, and the first time it comes right out, and you're able to pull it through by accessing the fuse panel right here. Um, and there's you'll you'll see that it's actually not a long distance from there to there, but there's a lot of tubing and steel frame and just stuff to get in your way. So you might be able to do that, you know, in the first five minutes, or you could be down there three hours before you finally get that uh, feeder line to pop through there, and then you can pull it up. The bad thing is if you do it that way. Besides that part, once you do get the feeder line. You basically end up having to drill into the back of your uh, knee guard, and you have a wire that's kind of showing. But let's see if I can show you here. 
there's not a lot of light in here, but basically there's a panel. You might think this is one big piece of plastic, but it's not. It's kind of like a sandwich. And actually right in here, you have about an inch of air that you can feed the line up through. Just makes it a little bit neater and tidier. So that's what I'm working on. That's why I'm removing all the Tupperware so I don't have to fight with this thing. And also, it'll probably help later when I'm installing like the uh, exhaust system, some of the variator work maybe, but mainly just for like all the electrical because there's going to be front and rear magic blinkers, the HID kit going on, which, you know, the front's off, but basically uh, that's it for now, and I'll update you guys as I go along.